Yesterday I was watching this video, and the speaker in the video, Anthony Robbins, shared this one thought that was really poignant, and I thought it was something worth talking about today. And the thought was this, if you can get yourself to love to do the things you hate to do, then there is no, amount of, no limit to the amount of success you can have in your life. If you can get yourself to love to do the things you hate to do, then there is no limit to the amount of success you can have in your life. It's a powerful concept, right? How many of us have daily tasks and activities and chores and whatnot that we just can't stand to do, whether it's washing the dishes or taking out the trash or walking the dog? And it's just like, oh, shit, I got to do that again? But what does that do to you? Oh, shit. Look how much it brings your energy down. Look how much it changes your attitude. But imagine if it was, I got to take the dishes. I'm going to do the best I can at it. Yes! You know? What a difference that is, and how does that carry over into the rest of your day? Is the person who's going to be, oh, I have to do the dishes? Are they going to be the one that's going to be stoked to go out and make the business deal or interact with the person who's going to refer them to another person who's going to refer them to another person that's going to lead to their dream job? Who's going to want to hire this person? You mean I got to do the dishes to be able to do my dream job? Are you going to hire the person and say, you know what? I want that dream, and I'm willing to do the dishes, and I will do the dishes the best I can do. I will take the trash out the best that you've ever seen anybody take the trash out. Do you want me to file all day? You know what? I hate filing, but you know what? I'm going to love it because I'm so passionate about getting to where I want to go, and I'm so committed to doing the absolute best I could do at any given job. Who's going to have the more success? Attitude is absolutely everything, and if you take the things that you hate and you turn them into a love, if you take the things that you're the most unpassionate about or the most disgusting to you and you make them into a passion, you shape your whole mindset to be just positive and upbringing and you have this attitude. And people who are hiring, people who want to interact, they're going to want to interact with that person. Let's be honest, nobody wants to hang out with this guy. But we'll do this. We put ourselves in this state because we think that this is unfair or we shouldn't have to do this. People want to hang out with this person. People want to do business with this person. People want to date this person. They don't want to be with this person. And that change can start with you. And that's something so simple that we all have the power to do. So think about that. If you can get yourself to love to do the things you hate to do, there is no limit to the amount of success you can have in your life. In any aspect of it. Personal, financial, relationship, physical health, mental health, emotional health. You name it, the success is there for you. You just have to change your mindset change your perspective on things, and set your intention and go out there and start doing it. Talk to you guys later.